Welcome back. A former Norman City Council member and state Senate candidate is speaking out. Alex Scott has dominated headlines from an arrest at the Trump rally in Tulsa to her controversial push to cut the Norman Police Department's budget. News 4's Angela Shen sat down with her today. Former City Council member Alex Scott had her arraignment on Thursday where she pleaded not guilty. She tells me it was not her intention to get arrested. We should be not guilty frankly, of any crime. Alex Scott speaking after being charged with obstruction while protesting during a Trump rally in Tulsa in June. She says she can't get into the details of what happened because she's due back in court in February. Just telling News 4 she didn't intend to get arrested. I was actually pretty surprised that, you know, we were being, we were not violent at all whatsoever. Um, when they were arresting us. In my mind, it was, I was a little bit um, agitated. Scott has been recently under fire after proposing a $4.5 million cut to the police department. That was the intention, was accountability, oversight, and public safety. In June, she says her neighbor was raped and believes that the attacker meant to rape her after someone posted her address on social media. I'm feeling extremely guilty because I do feel like it was my fault. The Norman Police Department says an open records request was filed earlier. They say in part, Norman Citizens Advisory Board determined that the officers did not violate any laws by sharing the posts on social media, since the information was one, legally obtained, and two, did not include an actual home address. OSBI taking over the investigation, Scott says agents snatched her phone out of her hands after she voluntarily went to give them threatening voicemails. Now it's really like you're also invading this, the privacy, right? You've snatched it out of my hands. OSBI releasing a statement that reads in part, when an individual does not give consent to turn over data that can assist our agents with the investigation, a search warrant is necessary. Scott saying she has suspicions about who the suspect is. And I don't know if it was a police officer or somebody who just adamantly supports police. Norman police wouldn't comment on that claim, instead pointing us to state agents who are investigating the case. A spokeswoman for OSBI tells News 4, quote, our agents, analysts, and criminalists are working diligently in pursuit of justice for the survivor. In Norman, Angela Shen, Oklahoma's News 4.